I'm Kate. In high school, I wanted to be big, like a big player. But I was nerdy, tall, and awkward. I'd like to live forever, or at least for a very long time, for a couple of reasons. The first is that I'd still like to be big, meaning I'd like to have a legacy. And the second is that I am truly having a wonderful time. I have a boundless curiosity, which means I often follow rabbit trails, sometimes even to a different universe. And I'm always exploring and learning, which means that I had to learn the mechanics of learning for me. So now I teach other people how to learn stuff. My current and favorite job stories right now are that I'm figuring out how to teach young African men and women who've never had their own money to find an income that suits them. And the second one is doing this right here, being part of this conversation. I think maybe other people's learning is my legacy. And it's odd because it's invisible. So it doesn't make me big, but a wonderful thing happened just recently. Jean-Claude, a young man that I worked with in Rwanda, named his first daughter Kate. Man, is that big. I first remember my sense of curiosity and my intense interest in other people when I was six. My first grade teacher sent home a report card telling my parents that while I was a bright child, I rarely finished my seat work in favor of mingling with my fellow students and chatting them up. I was far more curious about what they had to say than the work on my own desk. My story is in the listening. I help people connect their own dots. I'm a bit of a provocateur and a bit of a mirror. And I'm here to bust myths about human behavior that we all believe to be true. I have a great enthusiasm for learning about people and decoding human behavior, which has led to my livelihood. As a coach and facilitator, it's my business to listen to my clients' stories. One of my strengths is to help them reframe and transform challenging experiences into some of the most meaningful ones of their lives. And in doing so, they rewire their own brains, releasing themselves from their own dark story vortex. In other cases, I reflect back to them the most incredible narratives that they can't yet hear. Stories about human ingenuity. Stories about the unflappable human spirit. Stories that, when witnessed, can change the world. Our story. Kate and I met at South by Southwest 2015 at her sketchnoting workshop, and we connected immediately. And we've been talking for months now, generating loads of ideas about what to do next. And we've built up a great appreciation for who we are together. When we were talking about how we could shift diverse groups of people towards better connections, we landed on a shared favorite topic. Story. Story presents a grand framework of how to more deeply understand our own personal experience, as well as the experience of others around us. When we had to create our own story, we learned that through sharing it with each other and through listening, that our own unique individual stories became more authentic, more exciting, and more compelling. 